I think I don't think your your wand, your your magic trick. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, you know, trying to um, get it there, but I, I I miss the timing. I miss the timing, folks. So um, uh, we'll start off this morning with a, a story that's uh, it's. I'm not too sure if it's the same story because I remember early in the week um, there was a story where a customs officer was seeking an injunction to block basically the TTRA from replacing the um, Inland Revenue Division and the Customs and Exercise Division. But then also now the PSA has filed an injunction with the High Court in order to hold the implementation of the Revenue Authority. And it seems that both of these stories, I think the, the, the both court matters might be on the same basis, generally speaking, and that is the fairness because the two entities that will be essentially defunct, right, will be folded into the TDRA, and that process has a lot of people concerned for their jobs um, because they're not entirely sure, you know, what that transition will be. And I believe the Public Service Association, the PSA, they are looking at it as well. The, the Public Service Commission is, should be involved with regards to people's jobs in, 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 in these sort of fields. So this transition is kind of like a restructuring de facto that will allow for, for processes that shouldn't actually take place. Um, so it, it, it's interesting if it's two separate court matters um, to see how this will move ahead because apparently it already started May the 1st, so... Well, May the 1st is when the trans Tobago Revenue Authority actually uh, was fully declared according to the Act. Um, but it's due to come into effect, if I'm not mistaken, on August 1st. Um, I understand the concerns expressed by Legal Liberties and the um, uh, union and the majority union of the workers on the part of the Inland Revenue Division, as well as the uh, Customs and Excise Division, um, because uh, there is no clarity as per their working position. He's claiming that it's going to destroy their working lives and their livelihoods. I'm not entirely sure I would go to that extent to make a yeah. statement. However, the other question that one must ask is, was it necessary to have a revenue authority in the first place if it is that we had an inland revenue division? If the Inland Revenue Division of the Minister of Finance was doing its job in terms of what it was fully mandated to do, or at least what it should have been doing, um, then there may not have been the need to create an entire new entity and then absolve two uh, previous entities. Because it, it doesn't say to me that, listen, things are going to be different. It doesn't say to me that, okay, because we have a new body and a new entity, mm. it means we're going to act differently. It can just simply be, again, trying to paste over something that is uh, non-functional. Furthermore, with respect to the employees of the Indian Revenue Division and the Customs and Exercise Division, like I said, I understand the concerns expressed by Leroy Batiste on the part of the uh, PSA. Uh, I'm not in agreement with the strength of his commentary, but yes. I understand. Um, I think because it's been stated that VSEP is not going to be uh, uh, given to employers currently under the IRD and the CED, um, because it is suggested that if they are not transferred from the Inland Revenue Division or the CED to the Revenue Authority, they would be deployed back into the public service. Well, given the current state of the public service, the mere fact that the government actually froze on hiring new public service members, um, and I, I believe that there's still a freeze, because even though you're seeing one or two job applications, mm -hmm. it's not as before. Um, people are receiving three-month contracts. So the security is not there. The security is not there as it was before. So just saying that we're going to redeploy you back into the public right. service, are we just going to create jobs for you, especially now that VSEP is not going to be applied? The other point is they're going to be given jobs that are aligned with their skill sets and their experience. What if those jobs do not exist in the new authority? Again, how long is it going to be before they are placed in the public service and the time it takes from them leaving this current position to gaining a new position, are they going to be remunerated or given some allowance? Thirdly, the package, in terms of the pension package. How are you restructuring the pension package from the trans Tobago Revenue, um, sorry, Inland Revenue Division and CED uh, to the trans Tobago Revenue Authority? How is that now going to be handled in terms of, is it just an, uh, a transition? You know what, we, we have all the records in place. We're just going to copy and paste the records. 
what is the structure and where is the security? So because there is a lack of information, or according to the PSA, there's a lack of information, of course, right. and they do not feel confident that they have enough, um, this injunction seems to be their way of saying, listen, hold on, we, we're not proceeding with this as yet. Because sometimes the information is there, but, but that's the story given. I'm not saying that that's so in this case, but I think your first point hits the nail on the head for the wide implications for the country. To some extent, is this move uh, uh, going to really improve the situation or is it just going to be a lateral shift? Are we going to just take the problem and repackage the problem? Now, in the private sector, you go through processes like this to have a fresh start, right? You allow the old entity to die, the old culture to die. Um, and But to some extent, that also will in, involve not everybody is transitioning to the new entity. So I would think for this exercise to be effective, there might be some merit with regards to the PSA's concerns. The flip side to that is, from someone who is not in th that situation, I understand that's their concern. My concern is, is the public entity or, 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 or the public service entity here that is being transitioned to a new form? Is it working? And if it's not working, I get it. You're worried about your jobs. I'm worried about the, about the inland revenue situation actually being stabilized. So to some extent now, is the country supposed to side with the union and the worker and, and, and labor's rights? Or side on the fact that, look, you're not helping the situation. 